हेलो बच्चो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द अमेजिंग चैनल फिजिक्स वाला इंग्लिश सो हियर वी टीच एवरी थिंग इन इंग्लिश it is compatible for the students who are not able to understand in hindi so today is the second lecture that is the part of series basics of biology i have already told the importance of basics beta basics are like the initial steps of the ladder which you cannot skip right so before entering class 10th or before starting something important basics should be clear so keeping that in mind today we are going to start our second lecture that is glands and their secretions so when you will be in senior classes 10th or 11th and 12th you will be using these terms glands but there are students who are not even able to understand that what are these glands what is the definition of gland what do they do how many types of glands are there so this is what we are going to discuss today i will show you what we are going to start glands definition and types of glands we are going to discuss today it is very easy just the name is difficult different digestive glands we are going to study because this is going to help you in the chapter life processes this is your first chapter of biology which is coming in term 1 so you will be hearing different types of glands in this chapter so keeping that in mind digestive glands are something we are going to do today there is not only digestive gland there are different glands working in our body i will tell you about it and what are endocrine glands something about endocrine glands in detail so these are the basics that we are going to complete today it is not going to be a long class but i want that you should listen to me very carefully so that things stay in your mind first what is the definition of gland just understand it in a way the glands are special areas in our body which are secreting something secreting you know to produce something right so it is producing some kind of enzyme some kind of chemical some kind of juice you don't know what it is but glands the function of glands is to produce something to secrete something let's come to the definition it can be an organ it can be just the collection of some tissues so as i said a special area an organ in the human or animal body right which secretes particular chemical substances which is producing something in the body and for discharge into the surroundings now if i am the gland i will produce something right i will produce some kind of enzyme some kind of juice either that is going to stay around me whatever the substance is being produced it will say around me or either it is going to travel somewhere now traveling by traveling i mean it will uh, trans it will be transported with the help of blood blood is the one which is responsible for transporting things in us right so glands produce substances some whatever the substance is being produced it stays around or it can also move from that place to another place in the body is that clear all right now these are the two types of gland we have done the definition now let us talk about glands the types of glands basically there are two types what are the types first is known as exocrine gland bachcho exocrine gland is the one like i am exocrine gland now okay so if i am producing something whatever the chemical i have made i will add it into a duct duct means tube so whatever the substances i am making i am adding it into a tube such type of glands are known as exocrine gland exocrine gland if we talk about the definition exocrine gland adds their secretions inside the duct inside the tube but when i talk about endocrine glands endocrine glands are the one now i am endocrine i will add my secretions directly into the blood stream directly into the blood stream now blood it blood will take it wherever it wants to but i am adding my secretions inside the blood this is the basic difference exocrine gland their secretions their productions their enzymes or chemicals are added inside the duct but in endocrine gland whatever they are producing they are adding it directly inside the blood okay next digestive glands these are the glands which are responsible for digestion now understand this there are different glands which you are going to study about in the uh, digestion chapter theek okay? hai first we are doing salivary glands 
salivary glands also helps in digestion now what are these glands these are found in mouth these are found in mouth it can be found anywhere glands are found in different areas of the body now salivary glands in the one which are found in the mouth or the buccal cavity all right is it clear is it clear till now then there are different types of salivary glands which is not in your syllabus but just understand that one is located here below the tongue one is located below the lower jaw one is located here just below the temporal area so salivary glands are located in the mouth as i told you it is a gland it will produce something it is a exocrine gland it is an exocrine gland because it will add its secretions inside a duct fine it is a duct a tube like structure basically now salivary gland is producing saliva saliva is the juice as i told you every gland is going to produce some kind of secretion the same thing is done by salivary gland it is producing saliva juice now saliva juice has enzymes inside it now enzyme is also something very important term that should be you should be aware about enzymes are special chemicals or biocatalysts which are going to speed up reactions in the body thousands of chemical reactions are taking place in our body every reaction requires a chemical which is going to speed up the reaction it will uh, fasten the reaction basically and that chemical is known as enzyme so if we are talking about digestion here the big big food substances let's say carbohydrates carbs likh dete carbohydrates these carbohydrates has to be broken down into simple form that is glucose beta glucose will be able to enter in our cell but carbohydrates large forms they are not able to enter, enter inside the cell that is the purpose of digestion right we are eating the food we are digesting it that means we have to break it down into simple substances so that it can enter inside the cell that is the purpose of digestion so what is happening here understand this this is a chemical reaction where carbohydrates are broken down into glucose saliva is produ salivary glands are producing saliva this saliva has chemicals known as enzymes now this enzyme will help in speeding up this reaction will help in breaking the carbohydrates into glucose so first gland that you studied is salivary gland present in the mouth are there other glands also that is helping in the digestion yes the glands present in the stomach the glands present in the stomach stomach the glands present in the stomach are known as gastric glands if the term comes gastric glands gastric gastric is related to stomach right so inside the stomach the inside surface or inside uh, wall of stomach is not smooth it is like this we call it rugae it is not a smooth structure it is a rough structure all right now here glands are located particularly known as gastric glands these glands are producing enzymes or chemicals now gastric gland is producing three major enzymes what are those one is hcl yes you heard me right this hcl the one found in the chemistry lab this hcl very very dangerous it burns our skin cells this hcl is present inside the stomach i know you must be thinking this hcl can digest our own cells it will damage the stomach it will damage our inner organs so to prevent from the harmful effects of hcl mucus is also present mucus is like a protective layer beta this green color line is mucus it is a protective layer it is protecting the wall of stomach from hcl hcl will be secreted here there is a protective layer mucus which will, which will not allow hcl to reach the inner surface of the cells so hence the problem is solved one more enzyme secreted by the gastric gland that is pepsin this pepsin is going to digest the proteins the dal you are having uh, the proteins you are having will be digested by this enzyme particularly pepsin so hence we are keeping the terms very clear gastric glands present in the stomach it produces three enzymes hcl mucus and pepsin now you know the functions also hcl is an acid uh, it is going to kill all the germs basically and it will make the medium acidic in the stomach yes it is important to create acidic medium in the stomach first of all it will kill all the germs and bacteria second pepsin 
the one which is important to digest the proteins will be activated once the medium is acidic all right so that is why hcl is important and mucus no it is a savior basically it is a superhero which is protecting the walls of the stomach from hcl now let's move to another point intestinal glands not just this our intestine also has glands our small intestine particularly if you look inside the wall of small intestine it has these finger like projections just like shown in the picture these finger like projections are known as villi basically small intestine is digesting the food also and it is also helping in the absorption of the digested food see the food is di digested now inside the small intestine it is present in simple simple particles but what to do with that food it has to enter inside the blood stream na so that will happen with the help of villi these villi are richly supplied with blood vessels it has lots of blood vessels inside it now here the digested simple food will simply enter in the villi and it will reach into the blood stream and blood will uh, transport it to the different cells of the body clear so intestinal glands the glands you don't have to memorize the names basically intestinal glands are the one which are present in the intestine as simple as that now moving on moving on before talking about endocrine glands i have to talk about something else also give me a minute let's talk about the glands here only in digestion apart from mouth apart from sm stomach and small intestine two main organs are also helping in digestion let me make a box here and then i'm going to write about it oh. one more second please here we go yep now understand firstly i'm going to talk about liver do you know liver is the largest gland in our body and liver can regenerate it means it can make its own cells so let's just say this is a liver now liver is the largest gland in our body largest gland since i'm calling it as a it as a gland it means it is going to produce something right so it is producing a kind of juice known as bile bile is the juice and this bile helps in breakdown of large fat molecules into simple simple molecules it helps in breaking down of large fat molecules into simple molecules got it then one more one more gland is pancreas it is a leaf like structure it is located just below the stomach and pancreas also helps in digestion it is also a gland how it is helping beta give me a minute let me color it and then i'm going to tell you what does it secrete actually the food does not enter inside the liver and pancreas only their secretions are helping in the digestion of food only their secretions for example liver has produced bile juice so just bile juice is helping in emulsification or digestion of fats if i talk about this pancreas so pancreas is producing let me write down here what is its name pancreas located just below the stomach and pancreas is producing pancreatic juice pancreatic juice also has certain kind of enzymes which helps in digestion so now you understood these are the glands these are producing some kind of secretion and that secretion must have some enzymes inside it, inside it and those enzymes are performing a type of particular chemical reaction for example this bile it does not have enzymes the bile this question comes basically only the bile this is an exception basically bile does not have enzymes inside it but if i talk about pancreatic juice lots of enzymes inside the pancreatic juice even your saliva was having certain kind of enzymes the question here comes about the exception bile has no enzymes but if we look at the basic sequence all the glands are producing some kind of secretion some kind of juice some kind of juice and that secretion or juice has enzymes inside it we have talked about digestive glands till now but these are not the only glands present inside it there are other glands also 
you want to have a look at them yes this is the picture which is going to help you in control and coordination chapter control and coordination in animals basically so understand what is this gland i'm just uh, helping you uh, understanding which gland is located where this is not a part of digestive gland but this these glands are helping in uh, so many secretions okay let me give you one other example have you ever uh, faced a situation where you are in danger you must have you must be coming from back from your tuition classes uh, any dog or any strange animal was following you and you just ran away from the street that was the kind of experience i'm talking about that is the experience i'm talking about or maybe maybe you were so nervous before your exam that you were feeling some kind of current in your body what it is that is because of a gland adrenal gland it is located just above the kidneys and that is producing an enzyme a chemical adrenaline hormone and that is responsible for the current inside the body so these are the adrenal glands see here are the kidneys and these are the triangular shaped glands located over the kidneys other than this other than this we have pineal gland located in the brain area hypothalamus gland and then the pituitary gland pituitary gland is basically the master of all the glands it is controlling the secretions of other glands also that's why we have termed it as the master gland then there is thyroid gland which is located inside the windpipe then is the parathyroid gland parathyroid are present inside the thyroid gland thymus following the parathyroid adrenal we have just talked about it pancreas we have talked about it in detail and ovary only in females and testes only in males so this was all about the glands this this topic particularly we are going to cover in control and coordination basics but digestive glands we have already covered today now two questions for you we will never end the class before the questions the first question which of the following is the largest gland so if you are thinking about liver your answer is absolutely right next question salivary glands helps in the secretion of which of the following very simple answer saliva and saliva is the juice it will have enzymes which helps in further digestion of the food particularly carbohydrates so i hope it was all clear and you had fun enjoying the basics of biology it was all about the glands and their secretions you had a basic idea that what are glands and how it works in our body i will see you in the next class till then take care of yourself